Recently, I've read an Agatha Christie book where, starring, of course, the great detective Porter. And I've read a book called Death on the Nile. And I've decided, from looking at the back with all the Porter books, or Porter, or whatever how you pronounce that detective name books, I've decided to buy the first ever Porter book that, well, that Agatha Christie wrote. It's her first mystery. One of the best mystery books that I've ever read in my entire life. And well, let's get right on to it. Hello, fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester, and today I am here with this epic Agatha Christie book, The Mysterious Affair in Styles, Porras Port's First Case. And well, let's get right on to it. A man named Campton Hastings. It is after the Great World War I, and he has gone to visit a old place at Styles. And it is an old mansion where a rich old woman named Mrs. Inglethorpe, who had been kind to him in his childhood days, lived. And he had befriended dear old John Cavendish, who was the stepson of Mrs. Inglethorpe, and whom he knew very, very well. But something incredibly unexpected happens. Mrs. Inglethorpe is found dead. No, she isn't found dead. She calls out for help. And the family members break down the door, goes in, and finds her in convulsion, and then she dies. It is very, very suspicious. The new stepfather, Mr. Inglethorpe, he has every reason to kill her, his wife, because if he kills his wife, her will says that Mr. Inglethorpe will get all of the vast fortunes that Mrs. Inglethorpe currently carries. John Cavendish has every reason to despise his current stepmother. In fact, her, her the, the stepmother, Mrs. Inglethorpe, she had betrayed John Cavendish and made a new will that deprived him of getting his good share of the family fortune. Same with Lawrence Cavendish. Miss Mr. Inglethorpe had taken everything that they could have possessed if he wasn't here from the will. Maybe that anger had led them to kill Mrs. Inglethorpe. Was it both of them, or one of them, or was it someone different? Maybe it was one of the dozens of servants and gardeners and housemaids that the mansion currently carries, or some of the guests that were there, maybe even the main character himself. No one is beyond from suspicion. And Captain Hastings had not expected something like this. And he need and he, while walking, stumbles into an old Belgian refugee, an old friend that he knew, one of the most famous detectives of all time. Detective Poro, one of the greatest Belgian detectives of all time, retired, but he's tired of that, and he's ready to make a good old comeback. As he says, Beware, peril to the detective who says, it is so small, it does not matter. Everything matters. Or so says Detective Porter. I, I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that name right. Probably not. Go search that up on Google or something. And it is such a great book. And I don't want to spoil any further because if I go into the further, I go into the plot and therefore the answer to the mystery. And this mystery, this particular one... I think you will want to find out by reading the text on the page. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester, no one is below suspicion. And all evidence is necessary. All facts, every little piece of information contributes to the bigger picture. And even a tiny, even seemingly minuscule, insignificant piece of information, it could turn the tables entirely. Such a great book, highly recommended. The first Agatha Christie book ever. And I have to say, she wrote this as our first book ever? What in the world? This is awesome. Definitely rivaling Sherlock Holmes. 